Newly elected 5th District Congressman Dale Strong is back in the Rocket City after a whirlwind first few weeks in Washington, D.C. Now, Strong replaced longtime Congressman Mo Brooks, who lost his bid for a U.S. Senate seat. News 19's Emily Mosner spoke with Congressman Strong during his first visit back home. So, Emily, what did Strong have to say about his work in our nation's capital so far? Well, Congressman Strong said it's been a busy few weeks since he was sworn in. It all started off with that drawn-out House Speaker vote, but now he's turning his attention to committee assignments. They said list your top three, and I'm honored that we got one, two, and three. Congressman Dale Strong is pleased with his House committee assignments. Earlier this week, he was nominated to the House Armed Services and Homeland Security Committees. In his first appearance back in the Rocket City on Thursday, Strong announced a nomination to the Science, Space, and Technology Committee. I believe that's the trifecta for North Alabama. The freshman congressman said he's excited to represent North Alabama on committees that have so much to do with the industries represented here. The 118th Congress got off to a contentious start with the House Speaker vote delaying the swearing in. Strong supported now Speaker Kevin McCarthy through 15 rounds of voting. Just as soon as we got there, you didn't have a lot of time to absorb, hey, this is the, uh, the floor of the United States House before here it went. It was an interesting situation that will be written in history for some time. Congressman Strong said he feels like the 118th Congress is off to a strong start. We have adopted the most conservative uh, rules package probably in the uh, history of the United States House of Representatives, but you had to get through the speaker vote so that you could get to the work for the people. And so uh, we're excited about what happened there. Now, the congressman is set to return to Washington, D.C. early next week. Live in Huntsville, Emily Moser, News 19.